Hello, Satyamala Firebomb, welcome you all in ISTV News. The headline Polling in Tongweban and Tongzhou Assembly constituency by election to start from 7 a.m. and conclude at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Now, the news in detail. Polling for by election of Tongweban and Tongzhou Assembly constituencies will be held from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. tomorrow. In Tangwebun AC, a total of 25,114 voters, out of which 12,570 are female and 13,687 are male voters, will cast their votes. In Tongzhou Assembly constituency, a total of 28,214 voters, out of which 14,564 are female and 13,650 are male voters, will cast their votes. Kumuksam Zoe Kishan of BJP, Y Komzotin of Indian National Congress and Zitong Snasarma of Manipur People's Democratic Front are vying for Thangwebun seat. In Tongzhu Assembly constituency, Vijay Koizam of Indian National Congress, T.S. Bishwajit of BJP and Zitong Snasarma of Manipur People's Democratic Front are contesting. The district election officers of Imphal East and Imphal West districts have appealed to the electorate of the two constituencies to exercise their right to franchise and cast their votes from 7 a.m. till 4 p.m. at their respective polling stations. On the other hand, the deputy level commissioners of two districts have declared holiday even for those working in private sector located in the two constituencies so that they can exercise their right to vote. It may be recalled that the United Revolutionary Front, URF, had announced boycott of the by-election. Meanwhile, the State Home Department has taken off tight security measures in two constituencies to avert any unwanted incident. Paramilitary troops are helping the civil police to make the pulling smooth and free of unwanted incidents. Tight security measures are being taken off in and around the DC Imphal Waste Complex. Teams of presiding officers are and polling personnel for 41 polling stations in Thangwebun Assembly constituency have been handed over EBM machines, lames, voting materials, etc. under the supervision of district election officer and the returning officer of Impal Waste. Meanwhile, tight security measures have been taken off in and around Imphal East DC complex too. Polling personnel for Tongzhou Assembly constituency by election have also been sent to their respective polling stations from early morning today. The polling personnel along with required materials have left the SDO office Porom part and have reportedly reached their respective destinations. Voting will be held at 45 polling stations. Returning officer Lystrom Dalina said everything is ready for a smooth, free and fair election in Tongzhou Assembly constituency. She also said people's cooperation is needed for smooth conduct of the by-election. <laughs> ECID instruction matuina, other cards identification or in a season of Bayadi Haina, Masayusu, a quick join C on a cover, happy heaven. Prabhavati College, in collaboration with Mala, organized National Library Week at Indoor Stadium of the College. Vice President of the College, L. Tombi Singh, Principal T. A. Sauba were present as President members. Sip Electoral Officer of Manipur and also Sip Secretary on Navakishore appealed to all voters of Thangmaiban and Tongzhu Assembly constituency to cast their votes knowing their rights and also inform the authority concerned to ensure a smooth, free and fair polling. Both other words, the constitution of the people 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 I electoral democracy as you would talk about the Mateng Pangbiu Haina, Amukana, built of Jerry, Loeno or Dagi, Pium, maintained the Nobita Mata, Central Paramilitary Force, Amasung Ate Ate, State Key Police Force, Na, Mark Senduna, Election C, Peaceful Oena, Pangtong Nobita Mata, Arrangement, Kudimot of Jerry. 
A two and a half years old baby, Jerome Lanchenba, son of Jerome Sarat, a resident of Thongzhu Park to Faisalitong, Makalam Park, sustained injury when unknown persons fired at his house around 12.10 last night. The injured baby's condition is said to be critical and presently undergoing treatment at ICU. According to reports received by ISTV News, while Sarat was sleeping along with his son in the bed, a stray bullet shot by unknown persons penetrated through the wall made of GI sheets and hit the boy in his shoulder. He was immediately rushed to Rims Hospital and then referred to Caesar Hospital where he was operated on and the bullet that remained lost the shoulder was removed. Though he is said to be out of danger, he is being closely monitored in the ICU. When the incident occurred, many residents of the locality were sitting in different polling offices set up for the by-election on the roadside. But who fired the bullet is not yet known. Local club and Mayrapaibis of the area held an urgent meeting at 1 a.m. last midnight and three resolutions were adopted. The meeting condemned the barbaric act which appeared to be intentional to hurt Jerome Sarut's family, which is highly condemnable. Those responsible for such ache should clarify before 4 o'clock this morning. If not, intense agitation may be launched, they warn. Sangai Festival 2015, November 21st to 30. Ano ba makal matel kaya dalo ina na? Miam gito pantok lagani. Sangai Festival 2015, from November 21st to 30. Please come and experience. One day start level orientation program on the team maternal that review was held at the office of Department of Family Welfare today. The program organized by Department of Family Welfare was attended by Director of the Department Dr. K. Razo, Head and Professor Department of Gynecology Rims Dr. N. Ranjit, CMOs and other districts and other officials also participated. Dr. K. Razo said the program was organized to make maternal health service more advanced and how to reduce the infant mortality rate during delivery. The experts will thoroughly discuss the root cause of infant mortality during delivery, he added. The, main, the five approaches are community-based MDR, facility-based MDR, confidence and inquiry into the maternal death, survey and clinical audit. But GOI has approved community-based and facility-based India. Indian Red Cross Society Manipur State Brands has extended humanitarian health to six persons by giving them high-tech artificial limbs. Addressing a press meet held at the office of the brands at MZ Avenue, Secretary of the Society Dr. Waig Mohan said artificial limbs will be given to 14 selected persons who lost their single or both legs in different unfortunate incidents. In the first phase, six persons have been facilitated. The installation of artificial limbs was conducted at Endolite Prosthetic and Ortholic Center, Gawati. The artificial limb is manufactured by Endolic Company. The limb is very light and comfortable too. The expense for installing the limbs and transportation charge is borne by the Indian Red Cross Society. Dr. Y. Mohan father said that his limb cost 35,000 rupees. Among the six selected persons, one K. Michael, a resident of Sagolmang Wakong who lost both legs during Paurabi bomb blast is also among them. The eight others will also be facilitated on November 28 and 29 at Gawati. All preparations for it are already met, he informed. <laughs> Media Before we wrap up the bulletin, the headline once again. 
polling in Thangmadwan and Tongzhou Assembly constituencies by election to start from 7 a.m. and conclude at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Thank you for joining us. Keep watching as TV News for more updates.